And off we go. A proper November rainy all day in Manchester. City with a real need to respond in the WSL after heartbreak at Arsenal. A setback, yes, but they face a struggling Brighton team here. Never beaten Manchester City. Oh, and Chloe Kelly in the opening, what, 20 seconds? Deciding to take it upon herself to open the scoring early on and striking the frame of the bar. <laughs> what a start, by the way, that is. Imagine 20 seconds near enough getting a goal. It's Rudd for Fowler. Shaw waiting for it in the centre. A chance to maybe get a shot away here. Kelly will have a go. And Sophie Bagley will hold on to it. For me, this is the sort of game I used to love. You know, with it pouring down of rain, you get the slide tackles <laughs> in. It, that was always a bit of me. The kit, the kit man didn't like it when we used to wear white shorts. They'd come off brand, but... Yeah, this is sort of my game. You can get stuck in and uh, really put the challenges in. Well, the press is good from Lasada here for Brighton. Keeps things moving. And hung it nicely, and Keating has to make the save. There's Morgan, and then Angledal, and Lasada's there again. Kennedy. That was brave stuff from Kiara Keating, who might have just been feeling the full effect of that block as well still. There's Alexandri. It's uh, a touch that has played Hasegawa into a little bit of trouble. A little touch for Lasada now, and Lasada to kill it in towards Turland. They've not cleared it properly here. And Keating holds on to that. And it all just looks uh, a little rough and nervy at the back for City. City determined to be back amongst the elite. Here's Kelly, what's she going to do? Fights it across, oh, and how's that not gone in? Jill Rudd was waiting at the back. She had caught in two minds, perhaps. I'm just sitting here shaking my head, the amount of time and space that Chloe Kelly has got. It's poor defensively from Brighton, but it's one of those ones, she probably didn't think she had as much time as she did. She probably could have took a touch and then passed it into the back of the net, but... She might not have expected it to get over the defenders the way it did as well, but yeah, she'll be um, she should be shaking her head really with that missed chance. Fowler for sure, a Mary Fowler. Oh, that's the pink. They look destined, but in the end, it's rather comfortable for Sophie Bagley. Yeah, when that left her foot, I thought that's going straight over into the back of the stands, but <laughs> it just takes that dip, you know, that that um, surprising dip as well. Boitmer is back and helping out. It's patient, certainly, from City so far. Angle Dow looking for Bunnishaw, just couldn't get there. Yeah, it's a great ball from Angle Dow, you know. Defense splitting, sort of looked like it was just going to back straight through to Bagley, but it's a great run off the back shoulder in between the two centre-backs there from Shaw. And other moments to score as well. Angledow roared onto Kelly quickly here. It's Kelly! Flashed right across. Did I get a deflection? Might have done. Corner it will be to City. I was thinking as well, I wonder why Chloe Kelly's gone out to the opposite side because she'll get so much joy on this right hand side. But I think this is what she's able to do. She's able to cut inside on her right foot and she's confident enough to, to pull the trigger there. So. Obviously, it takes deflection and goes wide, but I think that's the difference if, when she does switch sides, what she can offer offer to City. It has to go with plenty of space to get a head up and have a look at what is happening in front. Wide for Hemp. Shaw in the centre. Hemp can hang it up for Bunny Shaw. Trademark City, isn't it? Hemp driving at defenders. Picking out a cross this time, unfortunate for sure. Yeah, and I think that's what the advantage of having him, who is naturally left-footed, out there was on the, in the wide area. Jill Rudd. Hemp. Still Lauren Hemp. Still has it. Hemp. Kind of off balance. Still getting a shot away. Robinson. She bring it down, control it, she can. Lasada. The idea was good, but here comes City now. Chloe Kelly. 
right across the pimp. Goodness me. And I hope she's okay colliding with the goal. You just see it here again, Chloe Kelly. What a ball. Such a dangerous ball behind the back line as well. You just you're watching Shaw, you're watching him trying to pass the cut to get in there. Right, so they finished 11th, just above the safety zone last season. The turbulent campaign, turnover of coaches. Great ball for Rood. But Jill Rood to take it off for City here. And he's straight to Bagley. Barely needed to move. Kelly on the turn. Away from Simmons. Her kind of range as well to fire one in. It's Kelly. Just always angling wide. She's so dangerous, though, when she gets in, in those areas. You know, she cuts back inside as well on her, on her right foot. She's only got one foot on her mind here, though, and that's the hammer strike. And you've seen it. You've seen her put them in the top corner in games, and you're thinking, is this going to be one of those afternoons for City where they're having the chances, but they're just lacking that, that final third bit of quality? Kasparai. Kelly. It's the final quarter of an hour. Kelly coming alive. It's Park. Wide for Hemp. It's towards Kelly who misses it, Owen. That's the artist arriving. It must have been literally millimetres away from Chloe Kelly's head. Lauren Hemp, Chloe Kelly switch sides. Lauren Hemp coming in on her left foot, puts a great ball into the box, but it must have been oh, it was so close from Chloe Kelly from, from connecting with that ball. Now for Fowler. Fowler's done well. Fowler all the way. Pack it back out by Bagley. Oh, it's a oh, bit of a mess and a scramble, but she falls on top of it. Sophie Bagley here. Yeah, you just see Fowler here. She, I mean, she's not really even looking up to see if anyone's in a better position than her. She's got one thing on her mind, and and that's to have the shot herself. Chloe Kelly's reaction there is a bit like. Look at your teammates, they're in a better position, but it's one of those ones where another forward could complain about not getting the ball, but if that goes in, you straight there patting them on the back. Caravalli. Bremer. And Paulina Bremer here. Options in there, and Lee scores! Former Manchester City player. And Brighton, from absolutely nowhere, have a lead here. I mean, it's, it's a really worked up well goal by, by Brighton. You know, they work it round from one way to the other. But what Pauline Bremer does really well is she uses her body. You now she gets her body in front of Alexandri, so she just spins her really and leaves there at the back post. And this is what I think City have been lacking. Then crosses into the box. City have not had that clear cut runner at the back post. Right place, right time again, Bergsvand. Fowler for Hemp, great touch, Hemp, oh, back off the other side of the bar and stays out. Spend a bit of time on the deck. That's Hasegawa, Brighton clear it, another look at the watch, that's it. It's Brighton who get the three points. A huge win for Mel Phillips' team and for Manchester City, just not their day.